Cat, congrats on the 10-9 win. You're missing four starters. How was your team able to pull this win off against the Blue Devils? I mean, we came together and we're a family and the energy's there and everyone's supporting each other, GY6. Talking about that energy, you scored the first goal of the season. What was fueling your fire out there? Just, uh, honestly, I was really just thankful to have my teammates. Um, yeah. Your teammate Emily Messonese told me before the season the grit and intensity, especially getting those ground balls, would be key for this team. You took a high stick to the face in the first quarter. How are you able to bounce back from that? Um, honestly, this team is full of a bunch of tough girls. Um, they're full of grit. I know I saw Meeks get hit a few times, too. They're, they're a bunch of dogs. They're hard workers. What can you say about Meek's performance tonight? Oh, my gosh. Outstanding. As a freshman, too, she's amazing, and she's got such a bright future ahead of her. Thank you so much for the time. We also got head coach Cindy Timchell here. And Hi. Kat, Kat loves the camera, but right now I think a little bit starstruck. What has allowed her to be able to come out of her shell and, and really shine? I know at being a sophomore, she just became a new woman for our program and just really committed to Navy Women's Lacrosse. Uh, we knew she had the talent and the grit and the heart to play together as a team. And we're just so proud of her to come out in a big game, knowing that there was a lot on the line and play with the poise and confidence that she just displayed today. And also for all the young players that were out there on the field today. You mentioned that grit and tenacity in the fourth quarter. You all hold on and win by one goal. What did you see <laughs> from your team in that final quarter? Well, you know, it got tight. And you know, Duke is a premier ACC program. They certainly really lifted up a notch in that fourth quarter and they were just going for broke. And you know, uh, you know, to kind of say we held on to win, we were trying to generate some offense, we had some calls go either way, but in the end we came up with big defensive stop and you know, cleared the ball nicely and, and yeah, held on to the victory. A, a tough day for Navy Women's Across for having such a young team on the field at the time, a freshman goalie. Freshman got the player of the, uh, of the game, which was Meeks. So, so proud of the youth, but also players like Emily Mess and Alyssa Leonard did amazing. I, I'm Alyssa, Alyssa did amazing on the draw. So just an all out team Navy effort and really showcased our team because we worked very hard together, even though those who may have not gotten into the game, um, is knowing that they did everything they could this week to prepare our team to step out on the field against Duke. You're missing Ava tonight due to injury. However, Michaela steps up. What similarities did you see in her game to Ava uh, as a freshman? I, yeah, I mean, me, uh, Mix has been uh, really just a spark on the team. You thought of her coming off the bench. When Ava ha is like on the injury list right now, hoping to get her back in a few weeks. With that said, you know, for her to all of a sudden step up and play a major impact role because she was playing on the draw circle as well as being expected to play offensive and defensive reps as a midi, we just couldn't have been more thrilled with her hanging on. I know she was getting a little gas in the end, but she was a tough young woman who really helped the whole team of Navy Women's Across uh, lead our way to victory over Duke. Felicia earns the win in her debut as a freshman in goal. From, from the naked eye, what did you see from her? Uh, you know, Felicia is just an amazing spirit. We also have an amazing goalies, you know, that didn't get in, like Emma Richardell and, and Ann. But for Felicia, she's earned this spot. You know, she's been an impact player up on the island, won a state title, is just totally bought in. Um, we couldn't be more proud, a little scary, because we were playing against a fifth-year fifth year grad student in the cage with Duke. So you had a freshman on our side and a fifth-year problem. So you had a freshman who's 18 and a fifth-year, 23-year-old on the other side. That's a big gap. So we're just pleased that she came up with some big saves, led the defense, and held Duke to single dig digits. Cindy, congrats on the win. Hopefully first of many in 2024. I thank you. Thank you so much, Luke.